So good morning everybody. Here we are on Thursday, the morning after another fantastic over-the-top unbelievable prayer meeting as the presence of heaven rushed in and, and the Lord did what the Lord does. And uh, we're so thankful for the healings last night, for the uh, changed uh, mindsets, for the hearts that were renewed and, and uh, wow, all the stuff that was taking place. Amazing stuff. Thank you, Jesus. Um, so today we're continuing to read through the, the Gospels and it's a place where, where Jesus now commissions and sends out his 72 and we also see uh, where he goes to visit um, um, Martha's uh, home. Martha invited him there and uh, where we encounter Martha and Mary for the, for, for the first time. And um, Jesus just continues to tear down the barriers. The, the commission in the 72 would be unheard of. These were, these were untrained, ordinary people that, yes, had been, are his disciples who have been well, ministering with him and, and walking with him, but these are untrained. These, these people have not been to Taurus school. <laughs> they, if the um, equivalent today would be just uh, take people out of the congregation, um, commission them, and, and send them off. And, uh, and today, uh, you know, we won't even look at a pastor that doesn't have letters behind his, his name. doesn't matter the anointing if he doesn't have uh, letters behind his name. It doesn't matter whether the presence, the presence of the Lord is with him. It doesn't matter whether he uh, properly discerns the Word of God. It doesn't matter whether um, miracles, signs, and wonders are, are, are worked through him uh, if he doesn't have those letters behind his name um, or her name. Uh, that's it. Not, can't be a pastor. <laughs> So, but here Jesus is, and, and he gives them, he gives them authority, and, and he turns around and, and he tells them that if the city accepts them, then that's as if the city is accepting him and the one who sent him. Just, just awesome stuff. Um, the traditions that we've built about Bible colleges and, and, and training and, and such, it's, uh, it's craziness. It's craziness when we limit people uh, according to whether we feel that they have a proper education. Um, and, and I've said it many, many, many times. I've, I've said it for most of my uh, preaching life. I, I would rather sit under the ministry of an anointed plumber than sit under somebody who, who has no anointing and has his doctrine, his, his doctorate. I mean... What is that? And, and then, so he, here, he, here he, has, he has commissioned these. And then, and then we find this encounter with, with Martha and, and with Mary. And again, I remind you that uh, during this time, this isn't, uh, Israel is not practicing um, the Old Testament. Uh, a new religion uh, rose up that, that, that came out of the Old Testament that came out of out of the law, and um, but called Judaism, and uh, in in what we call the 400 silent years, um, this rose up, and and the proponents of it were Pharisees and and, and Sadducees, and their scribes and, and priests were all all involved in this, and of the additional um, like the 400 additional laws that they they added to the original 200 and something. Um, most of them were against women. And, and women were, were treated terribly. A uh, man could have, have a lot more than one wife. He, uh, he, he could divorce uh, for any little thing uh, because a woman didn't smile at him right or, or burnt his eggs or, or whatever. Um, it wasn't allowed under under the Old Testament laws, but here it was being allowed and uh, promoted and encouraged. And um, women were treated worse than worse than dogs. It, it just terrible stuff that was going on. Women were not allowed to be taught the Torah under Judaism, not under the Old Testament. Under Judaism, they weren't allowed to be treated the or uh, taught the, the Torah. So here, this encounter, we find um, Mary is sitting and being taught by Jesus. And Jesus encourages us. And when Martha, who's doing what is expected under Judaism, she's out of sight, she's working uh, to wait on the men. 
And uh, Jesus says, no, Mary, Mary picked the better thing here, Martha. He encourages Martha to come and sit. And it's interesting later when, uh, when uh, we have the incident with Lazarus, uh, the brother of Ma uh, Martha and Mary, um, when Jesus comes, uh, and, and Martha goes to tell Mary that, that, that Jesus is asking after her, he, she refers to him not as Lord, not as Master, um, but as teacher. The teacher is here. The teacher is here because that, that, that is how she recognized because he, he dared teach her the Torah and more beyond. It's just, uh, it's amazing stuff. So we, we, we've grown up in traditions and not even realize what those traditions are. We don't even realize that we are shrouded in, in traditions and these ideas that have been passed down by man, such as Bible college and, and uh, degrees and, and, and all this sort of stuff. And there's nothing wrong with education. Man, go, get, get educated. But it, 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 it can't define a person. It can. Jesus Christ defines me. Yeah. And, um, wow. So we have these traditions. We have these, these things that, that are, are preventing heaven from rushing in. And it's terrible. So these are things that you, you need to turn around and ask. Because I'm telling you, the, the Lord is more than, than willing. He, he desires to reveal these things to us. So that we can be everything that he's called us to be in him. And that he can accomplish everything through us that he desires to do. It requires us to lay down these traditions that have nothing to do with him. So, yeah, just I'm going to leave that with you. Uh, be encouraged in this day. Seek him out. Ask him what, what he wants to do today. Um, you know, hang out with dad today. He just, he loves hanging out with us. Hang out with dad. Just be encouraged by him. Um, just know he's got you. He's he's protecting you. He's providing for you, and uh, yeah, let the Holy Spirit do what the Holy Spirit's going to do today. So you'll be blessed, be encouraged, and uh, we'll talk to you later.